Alicia and today I'm going to be showing you guys another sewing tutorial and for today's project I'm going to be making a wrap mini skirt so for the fabric I actually went to my local fabric store and went in the sale rack and found this super adorable light purple cherry print fabric and it was only five dollars for 1.5 meters and for this project you're only gonna need one meter of fabric so let's get started first I'm going to make the pattern by using a circle skirt chart Find your waist measurement in the first column and follow that row to the next column, which is for an A-line skirt. My waist is 29 inches, so with seam allowance added, my measurement is 18 inches. With the ruler, mark that measurement all around the corner. Repeat the same thing, but with an additional 12 inches for the skirt length. It will seem short at first, but a bottom ruffle layer will be added on later. Cut the skirt pattern out, and yes, I'm using Christmas gift wrapping paper as pattern paper. Fold it in half and cut it into two separate pieces. One will be for the front, and the other for the back. To make the front pattern, mark at 5 inches from the corner and draw a curved line that connects to the bottom. Cut it out and the pattern pieces are complete. Before cutting the skirt, cut out 3.5 inch wide strips of fabric. This will be used to make the ruffles. You will need three of these that are 36 inches long. Next, it's time to cut out the skirt. Place the pattern on the fabric, trace it with a water soluble pen and cut it out. Do the same thing with the front piece. You will need two mirrored pieces for the front, so when tracing the second front piece, make sure to flip the pattern. And now you have two symmetrical pieces, and overlapping them will make the front piece. Hem one of the long edges of the ruffle pieces by folding the edges twice. So with a straight stitch all the way to the end. To make the ruffles, sew two parallel basting stitches. Sew the first one, and the second one right next to it. And this is where I ran into a little problem. My fabric has one stretchy side and one non-stretchy side. So when I sew on the non-stretch side, the fabric becomes lumpy and uneven. But on the stretchy side, the stitches are normal. You can see in the comparison that the non-stretch side, the ruffles are very bubbly and makes the fabric drape weirdly. But on the stretchy side, the ruffles are even and have more flow to them. I had to cut all of the ruffle pieces all over again, so make sure to do some test pieces before if your fabric does not stretch the same way on all sides. To make the ruffles, take two of the threads at the end and pull on the fabric to gather it. When it's ruffled enough to fit the bottom, place them right sides together and sew the edge. Do the same thing for the front pieces, but for the piece that will be under, do not ruffle the top part like that the layering piece will lay flat. I'm using for the first time my dress form that I won from Kualarpa's giveaway. It's really helpful to be able to see how the skirt will fit you. Now that the fit looks good, sew the side seams with a fringe seam. To do that, place the front and back pieces wrong sides together and sew as close as possible to the edge. Flip the skirt so that they are now right sides together and sew the side seam a second time. Make the waistband by cutting a rectangle that is the same length as the skirt circumference and 4 inches wide. Iron interfacing to the waistband to make it stiffer. For the waist tie, I'm making a ribbon by using this old lining fabric. 
cut them with a width of 2.5 inches. If they are not long enough, just sew some of the pieces together at the short end. And to make the ribbon, fold it in half and sew the open side closed. When you reach the end, sew the opening closed. Clip off the corners and use a stick to flip the fabric inside out. You'll need two ribbons, one that is 18 inches and the other one that is about twice as long. I forgot to film this, but sew the waistband to the inside of the skirt and fold it upwards like this. If you fold it in half, you can see how the waistband will look like. So before sewing the waistband, attach the ribbons. Fold the waistband right sides together and insert the ribbon between the fabric. Sew the end closed. Fold the edge back and the ribbon has a clean finish. Next, top stitch the waistband down to finish the skirt. And of course, my cat was in the way as usual. And this is the finished waistband. One more detail to add is an opening for the ribbon to pass through. For this, I'm going to sew a buttonhole. It took me quite some time to figure this out, so here are my settings. I put my machine to the buttonhole stitch with a stitch length of 1, tension of 4, and stitch width of 4.5. Use this buttonhole foot with a button that's the same diameter as the ribbon. Mine is about 1 inch. To put it, remove the normal sewing foot and place the new one. The most important step that I always forget is to lower this metal piece and push it back. Start from the bottom and just press on the pedal and the machine will do the rest. Cut the inside to make the opening and we're done. Here's the final transformation. for watching and I hope you enjoyed the final design. I really like how it turned out and can't wait to wear it when the weather gets a little warmer here. So make sure to subscribe for more DIY and fashion related videos and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!